um, after simulation, it was easier for me to do the memory task. Before it was much harder and I had to guess a lot of times. And this time I could recognize the items and remember them more easily. Working memory impairment is a common affliction of people suffering from Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis, ADHD, and depression, among other neuropsychiatric disorders. Transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS, is a promising tool for modifying neural activity and improving cognitive performance. It involves placing a coil on the person's head which emits magnetic pulses that activate brain cells in a process called electromagnetic induction. However, recognizing that each brain region is atomically connected to multiple areas, conventional single-site TMS run the risk of off-target effects. Moreover, standard TMS applies the same sequence of magnetic pulses to every patient at every session disregarding the ongoing brain activity, which then contributes to considerable variability in treatment outcomes. We address this by applying dual-site TMS that activates a specific cortical pathway that connects frontal and parietal regions of the brain and decoding the ongoing brain activity such that the magnetic pulses are applied only at specific brain states. This completely non-invasive brain-computer interface consists of recording and stimulation systems that establish a link between cortical signals and dual-side pathway selective stimulation. A personalized source-based spatial filter is applied to ongoing raw EEG data in addition to extracting temporal and spectral features. These brain features are then used by a decoding algorithm that predicts the phase and amplitude of the brain signal. When both phase and power reach a predefined threshold, a digital output TTL pulse is generated to trigger the two TMS stimulators. We evaluate the performance of this BCI system by examining its impact on working memory accuracy as behavioral evidence of neuroplasticity induction and examining the effects on theta and alpha activity during working memory. Preliminary analysis on 16 subjects reveals that applying a stimulation during theta positive peak significantly increases working memory accuracy compared to baseline. Source reconstruction indicates that a positive condition leads to a more localized frontal parietal theta activity during memory encoding. And then, after an initial theta decrease during maintenance, theta activity is strengthened in the parietal cortex. And finally, theta activity is decreased only at the last portion of the recall period. As for alpha activity, the stimulation induces marked alpha increase during memory maintenance in parietal occipital regions. Then, it is followed by a profound decrease in alpha in central and parietal occipital areas. It was cool to participate in a project like this. If the stimulation was able to improve my memory, then I think it really has the potential to help people suffering from memory problems like Alzheimer's disease. <laughs>